So many of you may have noticed that uh, I moved into a new home. So this is the obligatory, hey, I have a new place, slash let's check out my listening room. And uh, I'll give you a quick little tour here. So let me flip this around and welcome to the new uh, Killing for Company room. Okay, so here it is. We'll close the door. I've got my camera here all set up and I've never shot a video like this, but um, for anyone who checks out the uh, Wednesday night album club, you'll probably sort of recognize this point of view. Um, this is kind of from my seating position. We've got our flags and everything and stereo set up. We'll get into that later, but um, just, you know, as you enter the room, this essentially is where I sit. I often will work from here when I work from home. Um, and essentially here we got our microphone. I just have a Got that recently, sort of Audio Technica microphone. Um, to make sure this isn't too loud. Turn this down. Okay. So, my computer there. Um, I've got some notes, pen and paper, um, headphones. Sometimes I'll plug that into. Um, these are some, and as you can tell, bring in the light, some uh, Sigva headphones. Okay, well, there we go. I don't know if that's going to show up, but um, book I'm reading right now, uh, film theory on, uh, or film gender theory called Men, Women, and Chainsaws. Um, really good. I was given this hi-fi book recently as a uh, birthday gift and that will prove to be important in the latter portion of this video. We start talking about our system, but um, a fun little history book on the 20th century of hi-fi. And as we turn into this corner here, so um, we'll kind of get into records. I've got some other you know books I'm reading on music. This is... Um, Wagnerism, Art and Politics in the Shadow of Music by Alex Ross. Um, let's see, uh, there we have Venator release. This is kind of like the um, bin I got. Corinne gave this to me as a present and it was just sort of like, um, when I get new records in, it'll kind of head into this bin and um, I will check them out from there. Um, so basically this is 22 releases, Venator, um, Rotten Tomb, uh, Absent in Body, Orion, Trolldom, Sin Starlet, uh, that's uh, Forbidden Temple. Um, but yeah, then Basically, as you can see on the wall here, like these are kind of, I would don't know if you want to call them non-Killing for Company um, records that essentially this wall is gonna, I'm gonna get a large sort of shelving unit that will head on this where it's blank right now, you can see. Um, and this is gonna be uh, completely dedicated to records, but until then, um, I have to organize all the records that are on these shelves haven't been figured out in terms of a, a place yet. So these are all sort of your metal and punk records. Um, let me straighten that. But those are all basically my Killing for Company records that I initially got in place when I moved in here. But the rest of them, so like, for example, um, let me turn this light on so it might be helpful for us to see. Um, 
So that is um, Sonny Rollins, Saxophone Colossus, uh, Tammy Nielsen, Outcast, Owen Pallet, um, War Mothers, MOP, so like Hall and Oates, right? Like non metal stuff. Um, you might recognize, I think, I, I just picked up this skinny puppy after watching a bunch of. YouTubers talking about him, thought I'd take a, a little bit of a glimpse into Skinny Puppy. Genesis, Barbara Morganston, um, Charlie Mingus, MF Doom, Thelonious Monk, um, Uri Heap, um, Kamal Williams, Yardbirds, TLC. Funny story about uh, Crazy Sexy Cool. Corinne um, bought this for me as a gift. She knew I had a soft spot for like 90s pop R&B. So like our, my, our first year together as a birthday gift, she got me a TLC. So there ain't a little bit of sentimental value there, but um, Stevie Wonder, Trent Muller, um, Kitty Wells. I don't know how well you can see that, but my shadow is kind of clouding it here. Anyway, um, Lester Young. So, um, nevertheless, this, I, I picked up a coffee table and this kind of serves as like a staging area for a bunch of different things, like records that I want to listen to over the course of the weekend when I usually get a chance, or CDs, um, Helen Morrison, kind of like a country artist, uh, Brian Arkham picked this up for me at a uh, show he went and saw, anyway, Mortuous was playing and he was so kind to pick up, um, Here's some more of Brian's mixtapes. Negative Plane, Rapture, um, uh, Fossilization, um, Morgue Supplier. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so a lot of these are more metal listening, but I'll kind of pull those aside for the weekend and we'll watch them that way. Um, anyway, so get over here like these are just a random cubes i have stray stuff in my room um but here here's a transcendent orchestra um mahler second symphony from the jewels um this is what was it called again Marabou State, that's right. Marabou State, Reservoir, People Under the Stairs. So like Steely Dan, right? More non-metal stuff. This is, um, my parents picked this up when they were in Europe. This is Richard the Lionheart. I kind of, I dug this as a piece of art that I kind of, they're trying to get rid of their old stuff from home. They uh, asked if I wanted this. So I thought they would one day find a home in my room here. Um, Anyway, back to, you probably recognize our, all the uh, flags there, Turnus, Stargazer, Celtic Frost, and uh, Quickscore, um, flags, my, I mean, it, I would probably say, like, I have a very s small collection, right? Like, um, and I'll kind of get into my collection and, um, my thoughts on like how I would like to evolve as a collector um, and at the end of this video and that'll kind of turn into the second half of this thing but anyway um, CDs uh, my dad was kind enough to build this for me as a birthday or no, I'm sorry as a Christmas present so last Christmas he built this by hand for me this cool sort of CD shelf thanks dad anyway um, I've got all, all of our this, if you can, I'll kind of scroll through this. Um, I just wrapped up my Cut Your Teeth series with Brian, and um, I'm gonna do another one with Ben Brain Smasher. So um, I've been go pulling some classic 2000s death metal albums, and if you, uh, you may recognize some of these titles. I picked the, the first one we're gonna talk about, but potentially those We'll head in the future, and uh, here are the CDs that Brian sent to me that uh, I'm going to be returning his way. Anyway, but um, 
CDs. Uh, on the shelf here, I've got a few mailers. Um, just in case, you know, VCLT stuff in the future, stuff that's come in recently. Uh, another piece of art that I need to hang. I got this, I went to um, Savannah, Georgia, and there's a art school there, and I picked this up while I was there. Um, a very small set of cassettes. Um, so I don't really collect cassettes uh, in a very dedicated fashion, I should say. Like I'm not big into it, but I will support um, bands. If that's the one kind of piece initially that they have to send out, I will pick it up um, just to support physical purchase for them. So let's see. Um, Flying Lotus, I'm a big Flying Lotus fan. These are more non-metal. Scarface, Mountain Goats, Art Blakey, the Bowerbirds, James Brown, Burning Spear. Um, anyway, so non-metal stuff. Um, I think I kind of talked about, you know, computer. Oh, I got this. Bring you back over here. Um, I picked this up. I was so frustrated in my previous um, place in terms of lighting, like trying to time it perfectly and watching the sun drift across, across the room really was a challenging thing. So I picked up a light that was sort of a dedicated for any kind of video stuff that I would do here when sitting in front of a camera. Um, you'll be able to use this. Between that and the microphone and the GoPro that you're seeing me now, right through, um, I've got a GoPro Hero 9 um, that I've been using. So uh, hopefully, you know, inch by inch production quality is improving here at Killing for Company. So the last part we'll take a quick look at is um, the system and I'll kind of spill into part two of this, but uh, I have a um, Fluence RT85. Um, as a turntable, a belt drive turntable, and on it is a, an Ortofon blue stylus that comes standard with the um, turntable. It is on like an acrylic sort of plinth there. Um, so far I've been pretty pleased with it. Um, I'll get into potential desire to upgrade here this stylus down the road, and eventually then the actual turntable itself moving from a belt drive turntable to a direct drive turntable but um then from there um we move on from the rt85 this is a rotel um cd11 tribute um, i really like this uh cd player i um it's the first time we really had like a dedicated cd player what do we have here for a cd so um I've got been all over uh, David Cordero. He is a, I believe he's Spanish, um, but an ambient artist. When I get in the come up in the morning and I get a chance to actually work from home, I usually Corinne's usually sleeping in bed because I'm getting up earlier, and um, he's got a bunch of new releases this year. But this is some very like chill ambient music that I like to start the day with before moving into something like. Um, Maleficarum, this is uh, Brazilian black metal. Um, and then here, moving from my CD player to the actual integrated amp that I have, this is a Cambridge uh, AXR85. And I've got to say, out of all the things in my system, um, this is probably like where the sound for me bottlenecks. Um, I I don't want to say this is a poor choice necessarily, but given to the kind of music that I listen to, uh, I don't think this would have been the ideal amp and hopefully coming into 2023, um, I will replace this or make an upgrade. But uh, once again, that comes into part two of this conversation or this video. Um, and then here, got some monolith speaker stands moving to a Q Acoustics um, 3030i set of speakers that I've been pretty pleased with. So 
that kind of makes up my my system and uh, that'll end this video and room tour so as I alluded to we're gonna do a part two here because I've got some thoughts that I want to throw your way regarding um, essentially my my system or um, and the metal community something that's been on my mind in terms of how we as collectors grow through the years with our system so until then you can catch part two of that here coming up soon and i'll see you guys there bye